Many of you were wondering what it would look like to update from Thrive Content Builder to Thrive Architect. And that's exactly what I'll show you in this video. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you switch to Thrive Architect. Like I said, many people were wondering what this would look like. And I want to assure you and I want to show you what will happen exactly even before you update your own plugin. So the very first thing that will happen is absolutely nothing. And that is actually a good thing because it means that all your pages and all your blog posts will stay exactly the way they were before. What will happen the moment you want to edit content that you made in Thrive Content Builder? Well, let me show you. So here, this is a page that was built with Thrive Content Builder. It's one of the landing pages from scratch. So the whole page has been built using elements from Thrive Content Builder. And I already switched over to Thrive Architect. Everything still looks exactly the same. But let me show you when I click on the Edit with Thrive Architect button, what happens. Here you can see that right from the start, I can continue writing on my page. I can add text on it. I can uh, select images and change the images. So there are a lot of things that are working right from the start. Now, there are some elements that you will have to migrate from Thrive Content Builder to Thrive Architect. And these are elements that have been styled. But this is only if you choose to do so. So as long as you are happy with those elements, you can just simply not touch them and then you don't even have to migrate. But for example, one of those elements would be a button. So the moment you want to change something on a button, maybe you want to update the link or maybe you want to change the color or something, you would click on the element. And then you will see here in your Thrive Architect that you get the Migrate Element button. The moment you click on it, you'll see that all the options in Thrive Architect are now available and that your button still looks 99% the same. Not 100%, but you'll see that the changes are really minor. And now you can do everything you want with this button. Now, the same is true, for example, with background sections. Let me show you. So here, this is a colored background section. And when I click on it, you see I'm in the background section. I'm asked to migrate this element in order to be able to change it. So I click on migrate element. Nothing has changed. I can just now start using it. And I could, for example, add a gradient overlay. So when I click on this, I can do from top to bottom overlay. And let's say, let's go from red to this nice dark gray and apply. That's pretty cool, right? Now, there are other things that you can immediately do on this page. So without having to migrate any elements, I can just simply drag and drop new text in here and I can start typing. So many of the things that you're used to doing when you edit a page will be available right away. Now, there are some exceptions and these exceptions are elements like compound elements that have been built in Thrive Content Builder, such as guarantee boxes, pricing tables and testimonials. With these elements, you'll notice that the moment you click on them, you can still change all the text. So everything is editable within the element, but you will not be able to change the um, look and feel of this element anymore. Now we are working on bringing back these elements to Thrive Architect and on giving you better and updated designed elements. But for now, remember that the style will not be changeable anymore, but everything that you customized before will still look exactly the same. Now, I hope this reassured you. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.